This is E.T. The Pacific Northwest, well, it produced over the years some very good fighters, including, but not limited to, Pete Rademacher. He was gold medalist in 1956. His first pro fight was for the heavyweight title. Then there was Spokane, Washington's Kirk Barrow, a ranked light heavyweight contender in the early 60s. Let's see who else. Freddie Steele, the Tacoma assassin, later a film actor. There was Al Hostack. Who else? Uh, Pat McMurtry, a heavyweight boxing contender in the late 50s. But one Northwest boxer who certainly would have been light heavyweight champion, but never got the chance, was this man here, Young Firpo. Actually, his name is Guido Bardelli. He comes from the town of Burke, located in the mineral-rich mining area of the Coeur d'Alene region in Idaho. Firpo adopted the Firpo name at the age of 17 because his ring style resembled the original wild bull of the Pampas who fought Jack Dempsey. Now, young Firpo's first fight was at the age of 17. He was against a pretty experienced boxer from Oakland who was odds-on favorite to defeat this newcomer young Firpo, but it turned out that it took two hours to wake up his opponent after he was decked by young Firpo in round two. Firpo's manager, trainer, was Mel Epstein, and he said, and I'm quoting Epstein, young Firpo was unbeatable until he had that damn car wreck. Oh, he was colorful. Every fight was action-filled. He should have been the light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, that accident occurred in the early spring of 1934. Firpo was driving to Butte, Montana, to fight Gorilla Jones. And as a result, Firpo spends weeks in hospital. And everybody thought his career was over. And although he did return to the ring, most experts say he was not quite the same. But nonetheless, he was still great. His next bout is just a few months later, in August of 1934. It takes place in Portland, and it's against the great Tiger Jack Fox. Jersey Joe Walcott fought the light heavyweight Fox two times, and he lost both times, once by knockout. And he said Tiger Jack was the best that he ever fought, including Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano, and Ezra Charles. So needless to say, Tiger Jack Fox is heavily favored to beat young Firpo, considering also that Fox had run up a string of knockouts while Firpo was recovering from a very serious accident. Well, the result of the fight, Firpo floored Fox in round six. He took the decision. Then, just weeks after beating Tiger Jack, Firpo defended his Pacific Coast light heavyweight title against the great John Henry Lewis. This September 20 of 1934 fight was, according to the large Portland crowd and very well-known reporters from East Coast major newspapers, a shutout in favor of Firpo. But the referee, despite Lewis being almost KO'd in round seven and round eight, that referee saw the fight as a draw. Well, the result of the announcement of that draw was bedlam. The booing and jeering lasted over 10 minutes. Everything seemed to be thrown into the ring by the crowd, including a knife. Now, John Henry Lewis took the championship belt later, from Bob Olin, and he said, I'm never again going to fight Firpo. Olin, by the way, had also refused to fight Firpo. Then in 1935, Lewis's title went to another Firpo victim, Tiger Jack Fox. That was in 1938. None of them would give young Firpo a chance. Two future light heavyweight champions, Fox and Lewis, beaten by Firpo, And then there was the earlier champion, Maxie Rosenblum, who just refused to fight Firpo. But such was the fear 
that young Firpo put into the hearts of boxers who were active during one of the most competitive decades in modern boxing. Well, Firpo retired in 1937. He did fight again in 1947. This is two years after the end of World War II. And Firpo is over age 40. The fight takes place in, I think, St. Regis, Idaho. It's against Bob Noonan. Well, the punch that knocked out Noonan was reported by those attending as sounding like a gunshot. Took quite a while for Noonan to be revived. Young Firpo, Guido Bardelli, did die in 1984, leaving behind a loving family, including his wife, Mary, and three children. In 2008, he was inducted into the World Boxing Hall of Fame. And that's it. Did you enjoy the story? If so, hit the like icon, subscribe, share the videos. You know the drill. Thank you.